and C961, Ethics and Technology, is done. I'm going to keep this video pretty short. Uh, basically, as far as the timeline is concerned, early this morning, I decided to take the pre-assessment. I passed the pre-assessment, but I did miss a few questions. And so I attempted to use WGU's official material to kind of, you know, study the, the questions that I got wrong. Unfortunately, uh, today's a double upload day because I did post a video earlier today. But um, long story short, their, their system is kind of down. The study material that you should have access to, you didn't have access to it. Uh, today's my second day with WGU. There was no access yesterday. There was no access this morning. It is currently 5.52 p.m. and the system is still down. So uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you guys if their study material is good or not because I just don't have access to it. But I will say that the questions that I got wrong, I pretty much just Googled what the acronyms were or any type of like, um, uh, you know, information that I just didn't quite understand. I tried to get more information online. This took me maybe 30 minutes. And then I just felt like, you know what, I might as well do it. I think I know enough information about this class that I should pass it. And so I scheduled the exam and took the exam and I passed. I would say as far as length goes, it probably took me about 40 minutes to do the pre-assessment. I think it took me 45 minutes to do the actual uh, final. The exam itself was pretty smooth. Uh, I will say this, I was not expecting that the person that was going to be proctoring me was going to turn on their webcam. That actually kind of shocked me a little bit. I was like, oh, because I've, I've, I've taken tests from home before, but normally people will only uh, like talk to you and that's it was not expecting the guy to be like, hey, can you see me? I was like, yeah, I can see you. Can I turn you off before I start my exam? Um, and he, he was totally fine. He was like, yeah, I'll, I'll turn my webcam off. But um, yeah, just it was very interesting seeing my proctor. The course itself, I mean, obviously, again, I didn't have access to it. But from what the objectives and stuff kind of said, um, ethics and technology is very much what it says in the name. So, you know, you're really looking at, in my opinion, kind of three things, and that's ethical obligations, legal obligations, and moral obligations. And so um, as you go through the exam, there are a few different terms and definitions that you need to understand, but a lot of it is really just like, well, it, it's common sense based. If you know IT, if you've been in IT for a while, that'll probably get you through like 70, 80% of the test. As usual, make sure that you read the questions carefully. Uh, I don't think that I had any issues when I took the actual uh, final exam where I messed up on any questions, but it, especially on the, the um, pre-assessment, I know that there was at least one question that I didn't read it correctly. I just kind of skimmed through it because it was a long question and uh, I ended up getting the question wrong. And when I went back and looked at it, the reason why I got the question wrong was because I missed like one word that, you know, kind of changed the tone of the actual rest of the sentence. So, you know, definitely be careful with that. And that's not just in this one. It's in every test you take. When you take those tests, even if they're wordy and long, take the time to read every single word. Don't skip over it because it might be the difference between a question being answered one way or another. And that's really it. I wish I could give you more information, but again, I didn't have access to this, the official study material, so I don't really know, like, you know, the quality of it, what was good, um, things like that. So for any of you that might be new to the channel, basically, I have 10 classes that I need to complete in total in order to get my bachelor's degree in cybersecurity and information assurance. And this is really one of the 10 classes complete. I also have four classes in total this term that I need to do before I can do any other classes. So this is one out of those four complete as well. For those of you who are curious, I still don't have the ITIL voucher yet, so I can't do the C846 Business of IT Applications class just yet, which means I really have two options. The two options that I have at this point are damn near polar opposites. You either have uh, the one class, which is C168 Critical Thinking and Logic. This one will require me to do the same thing that I did with the class that I just took, which is to take a final proctored exam and as soon as I pass the exam, I should find out if I pass or fail. And then the other option is to do English Composition 2, which is a assessment type of class. So I need to write a paper, and then I have to wait for the paper to be manually graded and sent back to me, which I think can only take usually like a maximum of two business days. But that's my other option is to take that one. I haven't taken the pre-assessment yet for the critical thinking and logic class, so I don't know if it uses the same study material that I don't have access to, um, just like with the other one. If that is the case, then you know I guess it'll be the pre-assessment that determines if I feel comfortable or not 
with taking the final exam. So that's the reason why I'm, I'm not really sure which one I want to do next. But either way, I got to do one of them next, right? So tonight I will start on something because, you know, I feel pretty good. I don't really want to waste a lot of time. But anyways, that's just my quick update. And uh, until my next one, you guys take care.